Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a problem that we got from algebra. This problem is from training the US International Mathematical Olympiad team. Here we have A, B, C, D, E equals to A plus B plus C plus D plus E. We know that all these values are positive integers and we are looking to find maximum value that we can have between A, B, C, D and E. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem and we will see you in about 15 seconds. To solve this problem, I'm going to start with one assumption. I'm going to assume that A is the lowest value that we can have and E is the highest value that we can have between these numbers. In other words, A is less than or equal to B and B is less than or equal to C and so on and so forth as you see here. So this is just one assumption and you can assume something else and based on that proceed with the problem. Here, based on these assumptions, when we say that we want to find the maximum possible value that we can have between A, B, C, D, and E, it's just going to be the maximum value that we can have for E. Since here, in our assumptions, E is the largest number. Now, use this, and then we are going to simplify the problem a little bit. Remember, in the original problem, we had A plus B plus C plus D plus E. Now I'm going to use one inequality here. All these values are less than E. So if you add them together, it's going to be less than or equal to 5E. On the other hand, since we have already 1E here, this expression here is going to be greater than E. Since we know that these are positive integers. So if you add them together, the final outcome is going to be greater than what we have for E. Now let's move forward. We can say that first of all a plus b plus c plus d plus e equals to a b c d based on the problem. Now if we replace what we have here with just a b c d e then the outcome is going to be a b c d e is going to be less than or equal to 5 e and just greater than e. So here we have something very interesting. We know that A, B, C, D, E is greater than E and less than or equal to 5E. E. And we know that E is not going to be zero since they are positive integer values that we have here. So if we divide everything by E, first of all, the inequalities are going to be exactly the same thing since E is a positive number. And then we're going to have A, B, C, D, is greater than 1 and less than or equal to 5. What does it mean for us? First of all, these are positive integers. So there are going to be a finite number of cases that we need to consider. On the other hand, the maximum possible value that we have for the multiplication of A, B, C, D is going to be 5, which reduces everything to a few cases here. So let's start with A, B, C, D equals to 1, 1, 1, and 2. So basically A is 1, B is 1, C is 1, and D is 2. This case is a valid case since if we multiply them together, it's going to be greater than 1 and less than or equal to 5. Note that we are not going to have any different combination of 1, 1, 1, 2 for A, B, C, and D. Since we assume that A is less than or equal to b, less than or equal to c, less than or equal to d. So basically d is going to be the maximum possible value that we can have between these numbers. Now let's move forward. The other case that we can have is basically 1, 1, 1 and 3. On the other hand, we can have 1, 1, 1 and 4. So basically d can be 4. Now let's see if we can have 5 for d. It's possible, right? So we can have the case that we have 1, 1, 1 and 5 for A, B, C and D. 
And finally, we are going to have just one more case. It's going to be 1, 1, 2, 2. Since A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, and C and D are equal to 2, the multiplication of these numbers is going to be just 4, which is less than 5. Remember, we cannot go beyond that because if we add 3, it's going to be 3 times 2, which is 6, and it's not going to be less than 5. Now, we have only these 5 cases, and we are going to continue with them. Here, it's just one simple algebra. Let's assume that we are just focusing on the first case, which is A equal to 1, B equal to 1, C equal to 1, and finally D equals to 2. In this case, if you multiply them together, you are going to have 2, and because we are considering E as well, so it's going to be 2E. On the other hand, we know that a plus b plus c plus d plus e is going to be equal to this number. So if you add them together, 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to be 5, and then finally 5 plus e. Now, focusing on this case, e is going to be 5. If you move to the next case, you're going to see that the multiplication of all terms is going to be 3e, and the addition of all terms is going to be 6 plus e. Here, e is going to be 3. Moving to the next case, we have 4 e equals to 7 plus e, or e is equal, equal to 7 over 3. Moving to the next case, we have 5 e equal to 8 plus e, or e is equal to 2. And finally, for the last case, we have 4 e equals to 6 plus e, or e is equal to 2. Now, uh, now that we, we have these cases, we are going to just find the maximum possible value that we can have for E. Obviously, it's going to be 5. So that's our final answer, and we solve this problem. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more puzzles and math involved activities and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you watch other content that I created before. We have a lot of problems from geometry and algebra and please let me know if you prefer a problem from different math competitions that you have in your mind. Thanks a lot and we will see you in the next video.